As you recall in the previous training video, we learned how to create a macro, and it's right there, C, that when somebody double clicks on it, it opens up the contact form. In this training video, I want to show you how you can create a macro button. So the operative word being a button, meaning that when somebody clicks on it, you can have it execute a macro, like this one right here, that opens up the contact form. Where do I want to put this button? Well, in a related form, like the customer info, when I double click to open it up, and I'm looking at mountain camping, and I'm like, okay, who's the contact person? Customer number's 10, so if I double click and open up the contact form, 10, oh, it's Bob Johnson. So instead of coming over here in the navigation pane, especially if it's hidden, how about if we add a button right here that has the macro assigned to it that when somebody clicks on it, it opens up the contact form? Doesn't that sound nifty? Well, it's a start. Let's go ahead and right click in a blank area, go to the design view, and to add the button to the grid down below, let's come up here on the design tab to the controls group, and there's the quadruple rated X button that, well, before we click on it, you need to know something. Let me click on the more button that in previous training videos when we created our option group or the combo box by default the use control wizards was on you can see it's highlighted meaning that well when I click on one of those commands there the wizard opens up again asks you a bunch of questions based upon your answers it'll create your option group help you create that or your combo box well I don't need any help with this especially since the wizard doesn't allow me to sign a macro to that button so you want to deselect it before you click on the button and then you can go ahead and click and add the button down below into the grid but if you forget to turn this off by deselecting it and you click on it and you come down here and you click it starts the wizard just go ahead and click cancel and you've got your button which is all we really need right now so with the button here I don't like the text inside because what does that mean let's go ahead and call it our contact or contact form hit enter and then to be able to assign the macro here to that button that when somebody clicks on it it runs the macro and opens up the contact form let's bring up the property sheet by double clicking really fast on the border of the button and there we go and then you got the name of the command and the name is for us in the design view to find it to work with it and I don't know what 30 means so we can just go ahead and delete the suffix and just say it's our contact form so it opens up the contact form whatever works for you let me hit enter and then the caption, you can change it here, which will update it within the button. So either do it in the button or over here in the property sheet in the caption field here. And then to assign the macro to the button, come over here and click on the event tab. And there you go. On click, we want the macro, my contact, to run. That was pretty simplistic. Great. Let's come up here and click on the save button. Right click on the tab. Go to the form view and take it for a test drive. So I'm looking at Mount Camping, and I'm like, okay, you need to find out who the contact is, the customer number 10. Click on Contact. It opened it up right to 10, and there's Bob Johnson. Great. Oh, wait a second. I mean, that was great. But let me go ahead and close out of here, because if I advance over to, like, let's say, record number 3, customer number 20, Mirror Lake Sports, and I'm like, okay, who's the contact person? When I click on Contact, will it take me right to number 20? or to the beginning of all the records, number 10, Bob Johnson. Oh, rats. So I have to come over here and scroll to be able to find 20. Well, what we did here was a great start, but to take it to the next level, you want to watch my next training video on using the where condition. Where, when you're in a record over here, you can have this customer number that when you click on contact will actually come over here and open up that form and find its match and take you just right to it number 20 here doesn't that sound cool go ahead and watch the next training video and I'll show you how cool it is thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for great specials on my products please see the description below this video